Aloha Kako, DJ Kano, we're playing some Division 2. And because I've been getting into some legendaries lately um, with a few of my new clan mates, I'm going to go over uh, the raid, not raid, the legendary build that I use. Uh, let's go take a look at what we got here. Um, this is the one that I mainly use. I'll go over this one in the most detail. But uh, let's take a look at what I use as soon as I get rid of these guys. Hold on, we're only on normal, so... Out of here. Oh, we got more guys over here that want to play? Alright, let's play. You hear that noise? That is the Golden Bullet event, day one. We just started. So I already got uh, a few hostiles done with the Golden Bullet. That should be fun on this mission that I'm about to do. Let's get back into it. Let's take a look at the builds that I use for Legendary. So the ones that I use would be the one that I'm wearing, which is my status effect build. I also use a, a healer build sometimes, depending on who I'm running with. Having a healer is a good option for Legendary, especially if you're running with people who have not done too many Legendaries. It's good to have that extra um, set of training wheels, if you may. I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just it's good because you have to learn spawns. You have to learn... Uh, where the white tusks are placed throughout the mission because it's a very different mission all the three legendaries are very different so i do recommend um, a healer just in case um, we also have skill builds skill builds tend to be some people might think boring but it's almost very essential while you're learning spawns so until you know where they come out of you may want to um, use something a little safer which are skill builds this one i wouldn't necessarily use maybe maybe not it has the oxidizer on top of this build I recommend rigor builds. Rigor builds are very nice for legendary because you actually have, let's put this on so we can see. It's because you have um, this talent over here, the tend and befriend. So whenever you're using your skill, um, it, in, or interact with it rather, using it, deploying the skill, changing the skill target or healing the skill, that all boosts your damage by 25%. If you're using the backpack it's very nice because it when you cancel the skill so if you deconstruct your skill on your own you will have no cooldown uh, be mindful that if you do have your skill destroyed then you will not have that benefit the chest piece is also very nice because you go from a 25 percent damage buff to 50 percent that is insane for skills if you also happen to have the waveform which is at the end of this season uh, if you don't have it you'll get it soon uh, alternating current you'll get up to 30 percent alternating back and forth between your left and your right talent so you are uh, sorry left and right skill with this talent and that's basically 80 percent of a damage buff if you're using this with the four piece rigor uh, keep in mind, I'm running a three-piece yellow, three-piece red, because I wanted to be able to do some weapon damage. But you can run an all-yellow. This is just what happened to what I run. So, um, Rigor is really, really good for melting guys on Legendary. You don't even have to stand up. You just let your skills do all the work, and it's pretty nice in that regard. So, we got Rigor, and then this is the main build that I use. The main build that I use is called the Rona, and bear with me before you judge it by the name. It's called that because of how contagious the statuses can be with this build. So what I'm using in terms of statuses, there are multiple statuses. You have fire, you have bleed, you have disrupt, you have disorient, you have shock, you have riot foam, um, you have poison, and um, blind. I, did I say blind already? I, I, there's there's a, a bunch. I'm pretty sure I hit most of them, if not all of them. So let's take a look at what we have here. So on the chest, I have blind by shooting people in the head, bleed by shooting them in the chest. Sure, it's every 30 seconds, but if I can get a kill using the four-piece uh, Eclipse protocol, it'll spread those statuses. So it's nice. Just from shooting my gun uh, in the head and in the chest, I'll add two statuses. The gun that I might be using would be the Scorpio, which will give me the Septic Shock talent. Poison, Disorient, Shock all come this, from this gun. I have the Incendiary Grenade, which is Fire. Okay, so I have so far Fire, Disorient, um, Poison, Shock. That's four statuses. Blind Bleed, um, that is uh, six statuses. And then I have the Riot Foam, seven statuses. And more shock, so that I'm not going to count that as 8. But I can apply up to 7 statuses using this build. Not to mention, if I use the Vile Mask, Toxic Delivery, every time I apply a status, 
I'm going to be giving them a damage um, debuff. So a status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. So over 10 seconds, every time a status is applied, they're going to be losing a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch, but they're going to be losing some of their health. So total damage is dealt equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage increased by your status effects att attributes. Okay. So this is just statuses, statuses, statuses everywhere. And of course I change it over. Sometimes I'll use the sticky bomb. So this will apply disrupt. So I'll use the EMP sticky bomb because on legendary you have the white tusk and they have um, the dogs, the warhounds, and they have what I call the Johnny Fives or the Wallies, if you will. And those guys are really annoying running around shooting because they're very tanked up on legendary. So the EMP sticky tends to be very helpful in that regard. But my default would be the riot foam and the shock traps. I change them as I need to. Uh, you have other things like the uh, blinder firefly. So if you take a look at it, you see right below uh, the main description, it has the little eyeball icon, applies blind status effect. So it tells you on the skill that there's a status effect that you can apply. If you don't see that, like you right here, the burster doesn't have it, the demolisher doesn't have it, then it's not a status effect. Chem launcher, okay, this one is a common misconception. Riot foam is a status effect based on what you see right there, applies in snare status effect. If I go over to the fire starter, it applies burn status effect. Oxidizer, many people think that this is a status effect, because it looks cool and, and it makes sense that it might be, but it is not. There is nothing there for status effects. So don't use your Oxidizer with a Creeping Death or a Eclipse Protocol build if you're expecting something to happen. All right, so make sure you check for those icons. Stinger Hive is very common. A lot of people like this one. Applies Bleed status effect. So just look for whether or not there's a status effect by looking for an icon and it'll tell you what the status effect is. All right, that's how you can check all of your skills. Anyway, moving on, let's just go ahead and test out this build. Um, I do have the, what do you call it? The global event. It is under seasons and the golden bullet. So basically what happens is if you kill the guy that has a golden bullet, you will receive the golden bullet. And I, I don't know off the top of my head without reading it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it applies higher RPM, a damage buff, and all those good things. Okay, so let's see. Enemies have developed a new combat system. Hostiles in the field may construct golden bullets to provide themselves powerful offensive boosts for a short period. However, defeating one of those foes will grant you the golden bullet yourself. Unlike hostiles, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you'll get a buff. And basically, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a damage buff along with an higher RPM buff. For a limited amount of time, if you don't get any kills. If you continue to chain kills, you'll keep that golden bullet effect. We're going to do Air and Space Museum just for the demo because it happens to be Wyvern. I think I could use a few Wyvern pieces on Heroic. Let's see how far I can get without dying. But uh, this point on, it'll just be gameplay. Uh, let's take a look and check it out. In case uh, something happens, I'm just going to say shoots for now. But we're going to stay in it just because we're going to play a little bit. I hear footsteps. Lots and lots of footsteps. You're a shotgun there. So you're going to stay there. Oh, he's just having to go is he? Someone's creeping up. Hey, buddy. Get up. Come on. Come on, get up. So you can see I have statuses above their head. Who's behind me? Somebody made it through. Okay, you can have that. Yeah, come on. Better heal up. Oh, shucks. Got you. There you go. So he just fell over before I shot him because that was the vile mask eating away at his health. All right, I gotta be careful for the golden bullet stuff. Who's coming? Lots of flanking going on. What's going on here today? What's happening? Oh, there you are. Hey, bud. Shot him in the head, so he got blind. So if you can, try your best to keep up with the icon so you can see what's happening each time I get a hit. Stand up. Yep, I'm being careful because I am a little bit squishy. 
I'm running a yellow build. All yellow build. Got him in the head. What would help me is if I could get the golden bullet, but of course they give the golden bullet to the dude in the back. And new spawn, not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, hey bud. Let's do that for the spawn. If I get a spawn, I'm not sure. That's cool, good to know that the uh, Vile Mask still applies the debuff, even though the fire came from that, um, that tank there. What up, buddy? Yeah, I got the golden bullet. You see that I'm glowing. So I know that I have that damage debuff. And then you can also see the icon. It's about to fade on the bottom left of my HUD. Okay, so no more golden bullet for me. So you'll see the golden bullet refresh every time I get a golden bullet kill. That's very important. Okay, let's get out here. Let's do this. Let's just spread the joy. Somebody down. Oh, something golden bullet back there. Come here. Give it to me. Thank you. Very nice. Damage buff. Don't hit me. Come here. And slight RPM buff. Hard to tell because I'm using a shotgun, but I had a slight RPM buff. Oh, and if I can finish it, but there's also a secret room. If you can find the X's, there's a little, it's hard to see, but there's a blue balloon. Shoot the three balloons, you can open the door at the end of the mission. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole mission. I don't know what that was. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Um, let's take a look at this. Earmarked for the plaza. I'm gonna just take a picture. Oh no, I'm just, I'll just keep that here. I can't take a picture because I'm recording. But okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that was, but we'll find out. I've never seen that before. I've done this mission a bunch of times. I don't know what that was. I'm sure someone out there knows. Okay, let's get up. Do, 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 do. We're gonna have some fun getting you guys all shock trapped. Oh, yeah. So, if I kill them, you saw I killed that guy with the statuses. I just gave statuses away to everyone that's nearby. The statuses that he died with, of course. No one's going to be flanking me. Thank you for the bullet. Wow, even accuracy. Are you seeing the reticle? The reticle tightens up. Look at that. Shooting like a cannon. That is crazy. Got the bullet back. Come on, there you are. There you are. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So it's it's all kinds of damage buffs. I think it's anything you can think of in terms of a damage buff, you'll get on the golden bullet. Okay, that's where the spawn's gonna be, so I'm just prepping for the spawn. Oh, and it's also second week of league runs. So I think it's the Viper League. I forgot what the name of the league was, but there's uh, league runs. So 
I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. Yeah, nothing good. Hey guys, what's going on back there? You wanna give me the golden bullet? Aww. Second balloon right here. X and balloon. Pop. Right. Oh, I forgot. This is not a good room for a status build. Jeez Louise. Let's put the traps down. Let's change out this to burn. Goodbye. Pass on the statuses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Send up. Pass them on. Pass them on. Oh, did I really get sniped in the head? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I went to go shoot the other dude for one second and oh, that's why I got stumped with the golden bullet. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But anyway, that was the uh, Rona legendary build. And um, it's like any yellow build, you gotta be careful. I got pretty decent, uh, it's not the best, but it's, an, it's a yellow build. Um, it's actually a five-piece yellow build. I forgot that I had the red on the Walker Harris, but I got no blue on this thing anywhere. Uh, well, except for the hazard protection that comes with the vial, but you have no protection. So, in an, in a way, that death was a good example of you have to be careful, especially if you're on legendary. I wasn't even on legendary; I was on heroic. So, when you're running with the group, statuses are gonna be nice, and what you do is you wanna. You're basically not doing damage on a legendary. You're just distracting everybody. I was lucky that Golden Bullet was on for me to get any kind of a benefit in terms of damage. But you're running with other people that are going to be running with rigor builds, potentially, or strong skill builds. So you keep enemies from running around, flanking, and getting crazy, while other people are actually going to be in the mission with you, and uh, they'll be doing the damage. So that is how this build particularly works. Don't expect to really be doing much damage with this build at all. All right. All right, that'll be it. Uh, I said shoots earlier, but I'll say shoots one more time because I'll officially end it here. All right, guys, until next time, shoots.